Why is it that some people can remember everything they read, no matter how difficult? Quantum mechanics, renal physiology, the history of Dog Tanyon and the Three Musker Hounds. They remember and understand it. While others, people like me, maybe you, can't even remember a shopping list. The problem is that a lot of people just don't know how memory works. But there are scientific methods that will improve your memory. In fact, they'll make it really good. And they don't just help you memorize facts, they'll help you learn and understand. Very clever people use them, and you can too. When you're trying to remember something, does it go a bit like this? You're sitting at your desk, reading a book, thinking, I must remember this, I must remember this. You do a bit of highlighting, underlining, rereading. You write a few things down word for word, and then you close the book and assume that you must have remembered it because you've been working quite hard at it. But that's not how memory works. Our brains are wired to forget a lot of what they see. Otherwise, we'd just be overwhelmed by memories. So to remember something, you have to do more than just try to put it in your head. You don't remember by trying to remember. It's counterintuitive, but can you guess what really helps commit information to memory? Recall. Recall? Yes, recall. Recall? Recall. What does that mean? Test yourself. Test yourself? Test yourself. How do you know this works? It's in the science. Science? The science. You can't just say science. What is science? It's science. I don't know. Any other suggestions now that you've been completely discredited because you don't know what science is? Yes, actually. Elaborative interrogation. What's that? When it's at home? It's a concept, isn't it? You can't be at home. Just a saying. The implication is, I don't know what I'm talking about. Do you? Yes. Explain it to me. You ask yourself how and why questions. That's it? Yes. As you read some text, keep questioning what the book is saying and write explanations of the answers you come up with. Doesn't sound like much. Recall and elaborative interrogation are two of the most effective learning and memory techniques known to science. To science? Yes. What's science again? I don't know. Science. Science. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Can you come and clear something up for me? Cheers. Bye. Learning is a superpower. Do it properly and it can transform your thinking skills and your problem solving skills. And if that sounds good to you, then I want to tell you about Brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video. Brilliant's where you learn by doing, with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. It's created by experts from places like MIT, Caltech, Microsoft, and Google. The interactive problems are where you learn through exploration, by hands-on interaction with the underlying concepts. It's a method that's proven to be six times more effective than watching videos. As you're challenged to think deeply about new concepts, to work with them and understand them, you develop something else too. Problem solving skills and critical thinking skills. With Brilliant, it's easy to develop a daily learning habit, which is one of the most important things you can do. Learning to code can be difficult, but Brilliant's programming courses are a great way to build foundations and learn real-world applications. I love the Thinking in Code course. You'll start building programs on day one, and you'll also develop your mind to think like a programmer, building a strong foundation in writing robust programs. To see just how far Brilliant can take you, you can try everything it has to offer free for a full 30 days by going to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer, or you can just click on the link in the description or you can scan the QR code. You'll also get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription.